All right, I'm back, and today I'm going to be playing The Goonies, not to be confused with Goonies 2. This is the original Goonies that, uh, well, this is the Famicom version of the game. The Famicom console version, because oh. we did sort of get this game in the States uh, on the Play Choice 10 or the Nintendo Versus cabinet. If you were at an arcade, you might have seen this in the States. Uh, but as far as home console versions, well, uh, most of us knew Goonies 2. And, you know, you go to Toys R Us or somewhere and you'll be like, Goonies 2? Like, but the movie's Goonies. What happened to Goonies 1? You know, like, that's the way a lot of people felt. Um, because they didn't know, I guess the console people didn't know about the arcade game or whatever. But anyway, that's what we're going to play. This is uh, the original Goonies. So here we go. Hi, no P.O., you're first. How you doing? So we are playing as, I guess it's Mikey, Sean Aston's character, or could be, uh, could be Brand. You know, Josh Brolin, Thanos, maybe. I think it's Mikey, though. Uh, and you can hear the Cindy Lauper Good Enough song. For you, it's good enough. Um, that was one of, always one of my favorite 8-bit chip tunes, the Cindy Lauper song um, from, but it's in Goonies 2 which is the game I had as a kid was Goonies 2 and that was one of I don't like Goonies 2 at all um, so this song was like the one thing in the game pretty much I was like oh well I don't like that game but it does have that awesome music but then come to find out it's not even from Goonies 2 it's from just Goonies, so I can't even attribute that one good thing about Goonies 2, because it's not even from Goonies 2. It's, it's like the theme song to Star Trek The Next Generation. It's like, oh, I love the theme song to Star Trek The Next Generation. Da, 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 da. It's like, oh, Star Trek The Next Generation. It's so awesome. And then you're like, oh, wait, they took it from Star Trek The Motion Picture. Uh. <laughs> You know, uh, Kyla killed Ganon. Thank you very much for the sub. And all day, also sub. Thank you very much, guys. And Henry the Wizard says, Rocky Road. Christian ABS also subbed. And Chris B160, thank you. And Ed Gerens, or Gergens, thank you. A lot of subs. Thank you, guys. Why isn't game artwork as good as the retro era? Like game artwork today? Um. Uh, I feel like back then, you know, it was earlier times and, you know, there was a lot more magic and wonder and everything was more exciting. And I think everybody just over the years became more jaded with everything. Like things just became less special. That might just all be also just us getting older. It's probably what happens to people when they get older anyway. But I feel like those artists, like for the Atari games, right, they poured their heart and soul in making paintings and all this. And it just like these beautiful beautiful like you know uh this beautiful art we had for our covers back then and now also it's not that big a deal anymore because it's like physical games are kind of on their way out unfortunately um and it was such a big deal back then if you went to the video store you that was going to sell the game it's like oh the uh the box cover of the movie or of the of the game that had to sell you to get it. So there was more reason, you know, to be fair back then for that box cover to be really good. I think there's a lot of reasons why that art used to be better. They, it had to draw you in where now you could go online and look at it on YouTube and now there's like a trailer for the game and the game itself has to sell the game instead of the cover. So, you know, in a way that might actually be better, you know, because it's like... What does it matter if the art is beautiful on an Atari game if the game sucks, you know? I mean, it matters. I love all that, like, old, beautiful, like, game art, too, but... Anyway. So, yeah, this is, this is the first Goonies. 
in, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like the second game, because in the second game, what are you doing? You're going around and you're trying to find the Goonies, you know, as they tell you in... Oops, thought I could just jump off there. Um, I don't know if you can get an extra life or anything. Here, let me get rid of him. Get out of here. It's one of the Fratellis. Get out of here. See, I saved him, but it's like, which Goonie was that? Was that Data? Was that Chunk? You never know. They all look the same. They're just shorter. So, one thing about this game that's like... Well, it's sort of a staple in Konami games. Is like, you know when, like, let's say, like, Castlevania... When you want to try to get treasure, what do you do? You like you like duck or something. Oh, I, I didn't know there was a thing right there. But oh, well, I guess it's all over the place. But um, getting lucky here. How about right here? Uh, none there. But yeah, sometimes you'll like duck or like jump or something, and there'll be like a hidden piece of treasure, and you never know where it might be. Like, is there any here? Let's jump. Let's duck. Okay, none there. How about right here? And it's like, you gotta just, like, search every part of the level, and it's like, who knows if there's gonna be treasure or not, you know? And I kind of feel like, I never really liked that. I don't like that very much in Castlevania. I did a, a run of uh, Castlevania, which was like an all-treasure, getting all the treasure, you know, in the game. But it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of stupid. Because it's just like, okay, just let me run around and aimlessly, like, jump around in the sky and or, or duck in random spots and maybe treasure will appear or maybe it won't. Um, it's just not really a game mechanic, I think, is too great. And that's part of this game. But whatever. Also, Super Pitfall was like that. Um... I had, I had had to play through the, all the Super Pitfall for a nerd video years ago, and uh, this game, I don't think the treasures are mandatory, where in Super Pitfall, in Super Pitfall, they're like uh, card suits, it'll be like a diamond, or something like, you know, or like the two of clubs, or something like that whatever you gotta get and it's like mandatory to get that stuff in that, in, the, in that game um, and it's the same thing in Super Pitfall it's like you're jumping around in the air you know and it just stinks so I just don't like that game mechanic not just in, like in this game or, or any game it's like I love Castlevania 1 but that's something I don't really care for about it just like this random treasure. I think this is good to get health. I already had full health. So yeah, you blow up these doors and you can either get um, keys, health, or find a goonie. And then, okay, so what do I gotta do right there? I gotta open that door, right? So you kill the mouse. You know where we're supposed to be, by the way, in the game? I think we're like under the restaurant. You know the beginning of, oh God. You know the beginning of Goonies? Oh, it's like health again. Um, where they're like under the pipes and they're screaming and the pipes are going up and down and the toilets are going off and all that. Well, I guess I'll get it now I get hit. I think it's, it's that, this is supposed to be that part. So at least this kind of like follows the uh, locations in the movie a little bit. You know, better than some games do. So there's spots like that where it's like, okay, it's totally empty there. There's probably going to be something here. So at least you might know, okay, if there's like an area that looks like weird, see, okay, anything else? Yeah, so if there's if there's like empty, big empty areas like that that look suspicious, it's probably a good place to look for hidden treasure. So at least there's that, where again in Super Pitfall, it was just completely random. Like it'll be like, oh, just jump like right there or whatever, or maybe just jump here and it's like, oh, there's the thing you need. It's just like... Totally horrible. Ten, uh, ten times worse in that game. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, Twisted Green 42, thank you very much for the sub. So this game, this is a game about gooning. Yeah, that's what it's all about. 
what would you say an NES controller in perfect condition is supposed to feel like? There's supposed to be a little bit of wiggle on the D-pad, right? Um, when I get like a NES controller that I can tell hasn't really been used or might be brand new, and sometimes I'll get like a brand new one, they're very like tight, like the D-pad when you start. But once you start using it a little bit, I, I don't know if I would call it wiggle, um, but it gets a little bit looser. But I also don't like the D-pad to be like completely like just flopping all over the place. So it's like, uh, it's a, that's a hard question to answer because it's like, I, my finger knows how it feels. Uh, but for me to describe, oh, by the way, see that right there? How he's like, he's like shooting out musical notes. You know what that is? If you've seen if you've seen Goonies, like the movie, um, there, there's a scene where um, Chunk is in the restaurant and he gets trapped. He gets separated from the other Goonies and he's in the ice box and he's like eating ice cream and there's like a dead guy in there. But then he escapes through the window and he's like going down the street. He's like, I'm gonna go help my friends because I'm gonna go get the I'm gonna go get the police or whatever and, and help out. And and so he's going down the street, and then a car pulls up, and he tells a sore story. He's like, mister, there's these really bad people that are in this place, and they're going to hurt my friends and all that. And then the window rolls down, and it's one of the fatalities, and he starts singing at Chunk, and Chunk starts screaming. It's a funny part of the movie. Um, so they, it tells you that they actually watched... They actually watched the movie, which is more than you can say for a lot of these old video games where you can tell they didn't watch the movie. So that's an actual attack that comes from a scene in the movie. So that's nice, you know, that they did that at the very least. You know, because, you know, I played a lot of these movie-themed uh, based NES games, and a lot of times, you know, they just don't have anything to do with anything. So, I, you know, I like that about it. I, I always really like the Goonies. Yeah, I grew up with that. Right, hang on, I'm let, so this has time too, by the way, so that's one thing I don't really like about this. You know me and time and games, and I'm not big on that. So I got 36 seconds to make it to the door here. All right, so it's down there. I, I have the keys, at least. So I think this game is all about the high score, you know, because it was an arcade game. It, like, sort of like a kung fu type of deal where it's like, oh, how, you know, how many times can you beat it or something like that? Or how many points can you get before it's over? It's, it's that kind of thing. But, yeah, this is it. This is Goonies 1. There's people that have been, like, wanting me to stream this for, like, a long time. So I'm just like, okay, let me finally get to this. Um, I guess because I had streamed Goonies 2 before, so, you know, people were like, oh, you gotta do Goonies 1. And yeah, that's, that's the thing with it, it's just, uh, it was, it was in the, it was in the arcade, it was Play Choice, uh, you know, Play Choice 10 or Nintendo vs. Cabinet. And, uh... You know, not, I guess not everybody knew about it. Oh, so is that Chester Copperpot? Because Chester Copperpot's dead, right? So I thought, because I was, I thought maybe, oh, maybe it's Mama Fratelli, but doesn't it look like a ghost? Like Mama Fratelli in the movie isn't a ghost. So I think, I mean, maybe it's supposed to be like a pirate, or like One Eye Willie or something. But I don't, that like, wouldn't that be like for to be on the pirate ship? So I feel like that must be Chester Copperpot if you're gonna equate it to something like from the movie. Man, I'm like all over the place here. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, there, like, there he is. Let's get this. And then they have like rats everywhere, as if like Goonies even has anything to do with rats. Like, not really. I guess there would be rats like in the caves they're in or whatever, but it's not like, I don't think there's a scene that, that has like a bunch of rats in it. There easily could have been, but I don't think there was. Maybe it's a deleted scene. I don't think I've ever bothered to look at Goonies 
deleted scenes. Damn it. Alright, so I'm just on one key here. Uh, how do we get out of here? Oh, I guess, so I, you go on these skull doors to get to the other areas. This is a this is very much like a game where you can get lost and you only get so much time to get through this, so it kinda kinda stinks. Kinda sucks. It is a where the hell do you go kind of game. Come on. Oh I don't I need okay, so I need a bomb from the rat. There. They always give you one. Shoot this crap. Okay, there's one of the Goonies. Thank you, like who is that? Which Goonie is that? Shouldn't it say? I feel like it should say. Was that brand? You don't know. Doesn't tell you anything. Come on, it's ridiculous. This game's ridiculous. Ugh. Give me another key. By the way, those bombs will kill you. Nice. I got a slingshot. Which is this? So, like, you see this? Is that Psycho Fox? Like, for Sega Master System? Like, what is the deal with that fox? Like, I don't know. It gives you extra points or something? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. And by the way, I know that there's like all like hidden objects and stuff. I was mentioning that before, but it's like, what am I gonna do? Just, I'm just gonna like jump around in the air everywhere. It's stupid. Like I hate that mechanic in games. It's like, oh, I don't know, I'm right here. Is there anything? Nothing. I don't know. Maybe at the end here. Like who knows? But yeah, you can find all kinds of like hidden things. But good luck. So I have. So this is the door, right? All right. So I have two minutes that I can basically wander around now because I have all three keys. And is it even worth it? Because I could get like, I could get hurt. In the meantime, you know, trying to find hidden things. That I just don't even think it's worth it. Also, I don't know if you can carry more than one bomb. If anybody like knows if you can, like let me know. But as far as I know, I don't think you can. I'm just gonna go to the next area because whatever. Anyway, that's what this game's like. Rock Harden, uh, thank you very much for the sub. Also, those thank those uh, rocks going up and down on the chains, that's in the movie. So at least they got that. Kenzo Stone, also thanks for the sub. And Trap Shot Live, thank you. For a movie about finding hidden treasure, then finding hidden treasure in the game fits the lore. It does, but I wish that there was a better way to find it. Like, I don't know, some kind of like radar system or like something. Maybe they give you clues or like, I don't know, like some kind of better thing other than it's just randomly anywhere. Like, oh, I could jump right here. Maybe I jump there. I don't know. Like, that's just stupid. That's my problem with it. So this like cross that you get is, I think, and I think that's where they want you to just play the game ten thousand times, you know. To find any random like crap, to find any random thing. All right, that's that again. I don't know if that like straight up kills you or what. Ooh, that was like a jump kick. I didn't know Sean Aston could do flying jump kicks. We learned something today. Do you think Sean Aston? Do you think Sean Aston can still do flying jump kicks? Now in 2024, I think so. Probably. Alright, so there's like nothing this way. No, 
I gotta make sure I don't go back this way. Drop. Alright, that's it for this area. Don't go back here. Ugh, what? And by the way, you can't jump off of these ropes, which oh, stinks. There's no fall damage though, at least. Oh my god. Can I stop getting hit? So to get to that, I have to... Ugh. Damn! I guess I have to have the slingshot to get that. Okay, there's the exit. One hit deaths. I don't know if there's any continues. Oh my god. So how do I even get over there? Get out of here. I gotta go down this. Dude, screw Chester Copperpot, alright? Get out of here. So I go down this. Time to have. Right, at least I have a lot of time. Oh. Blow up. All right, two keys. We need one more, and then the the exit's right below me. At least we know that. There's the exit. So that's that's the good news. Any secrets hidden? You would think there would be right here, right? So stupid. What about here? What about here? I don't know. Oh my god. Psycho Fox? Yeah. She got like a better bomb out of the fox. You like the part in Goonies where you kick Psycho Fox in the face? I'm gonna rewatch the movie. Hey, may you know what? I haven't seen it in a while. I could be wrong. What if I rewatched it and then Psycho Fox? I thought that there was like this character called Sloth, but actually it wasn't Sloth, it was actually Psycho Fox the whole time, and I just, my memory's just really bad. Alright, there's one of the Goonies, but I still need the other key. No! Oh, you mother. Do it again. <sighs> Castlevania skeletons. You never saw Goonies. How are you in like a Mike Matei live stream and never saw Goonies? That doesn't even make sense to me. Cyber Kays, thank you very much for a tier one sub. What do I need to do to get VIP? Does anybody have longer sub? Um, I don't know, like, so Twitch at this current time gives you, like, 50 of them. I don't know how many I've given out, probably, like, 20 or 30 of them. So there's only so many anyway. So at a certain point, I'm going to run out anyway, right? So it's, like, I just randomly pick them at a certain point, you know, be, like, oh, somebody's, uh, you know, subscribed for a long time or somebody's been around for five years, seven years, or whatever, and then we're like, okay, let's pick a couple more people that, you know, have been around for a long time, you know, and subscribe and stuff like that, and then we pick a couple more random people here and there. Like, I'll remember to do that, like, once a year or something. Here's what's gonna happen. Probably this website won't exist by the time I get to... <laughs> Yeah, or maybe they'll add more. They 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 added more emotes, I think, or or they are soon, where it's like I can add more emotes in, um, which is good because it's like I feel like that they should just let you have like maybe not unlimited, but like they could give you like five hundred of them or something. Like I don't know why they have to have this like limit on it, but uh, whatever. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I gotta play through this again because I died. So we're gonna do this again. So this is if you lose your two lives, it's complete game over and you start from the beginning. So we'll do this again. So let's get this going again. 
Anyway, I feel I think I've already said everything I have to say about this game. It's just, um, you know, it's it's a it's chronologically confusing is is what this game is. Because you know we would go into Toys R Us, KB, all those kind of stores back then, and I remember looking up and being like, Goonies two. Goonies two. Well, what? And then I got it because I liked the mo- I liked Goonies. I was a Goonies fan. I was a Goonies kid. Um, and you know, I wanted I, I wanted the game, so I got Goonies too. And then he, I brought it home and I played it, and I was like, oh, this is horrible. I I, I couldn't stand it. And had no idea for so long. I didn't. I don't think I knew for 20 years what the real reason was until I, until I, you know, maybe like eBay or the internet or whatever, you know, later. Because you know, I grew up first, you know, I don't know, 13 years of my life or 14, 15 years or whatever it was. I didn't have. We didn't have internet. If you can even imagine that anymore. Some of you guys in here are old enough to, you know, have grown up without it for, you know, quite a while, at least, and, uh, you know, we didn't know, we just fucking go to KB or whatever, and it says Goonies 2, and we're like, what the fuck, Goonies 2? Because I thought, like, it would be like, oh, wait, is there a second Goonies movie, and that's the game based on the second Go- wait, I, dude, did I miss, was there a second Goonies movie, and that's how it felt, it would be like, wait a second. Am I that out of the loop that they made a sequel? You know? Wow. Like, damn, I missed that, huh? <laughs> you know? No, there was no second Goonies movie. So we had no idea. And I don't know why I never put the pieces... I'm just stupid, I guess, but I never put the pieces together. But I, I'm pretty sure that I saw, like, a Versus Cabinet back then, and I saw the arcade version of this on one of those machines and I never put the two in. see it's like cause that's an arcade machine and I think it was because it was like well where's Goonies where's Goonies 1 on a console on you know on the NES is why it was confusing I don't think you know I didn't think like oh the first game was on the arcade and the second game that, you know is on a console that didn't like register to me it was just sort of weird and then later figured all this out come on I don't know if that like flame kills me or what Much work to be done. See, one of the problems, I guess, is that I died, so I lost the slingshot. When you lose the slingshot, that's bad news. Because that's your, like, long-range projectile weapon to get through all this. Oh, here, now I'll get this. It's not making stupid mistakes. Get away from me. You remember when game FAQs appeared and helped so much with obscure games? Yeah, I remember. It was, yeah. Uh, it was like, uh, something like friend told me about or something, uh, you know? And I'm like, wait, what? Game facts? Like, what is this? Right? It was. That was super helpful, though. Like, we didn't have that. I don't know where to go. I'm going here. Did I already go here? I guess this is the area, right? That's what happens. I'm like, I, you know, I start talking about stuff and then I forget like where I'm going. That's a... Oh, there you go. I gotta go down there. All right, so to the right. Ah. That's one. So I know there's one to the right. Where's the other one? There's one over here. And then I wake then we gotta get out. Get out of here. My god, I hate him so much. Now I need help. 
actually what I really need is... Okay, I got a bomb. I know there's like a diamond up there. I don't know how much I care. I just want to beat it, like... So it makes a noise to tell you. That's good at least. Dude, the Fratelli is guys annoying as hell. If I can either make it to the door or come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Seconds. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. I wonder if they fill your health up. I hope. Go away, go away. Please fill my health up, please. MSX also has this game minus the scrolling. Oh, they like fill your health up like a little bit, huh? They gave me that. Yeah, MSX. I'll do MSX stuff at some point. For, uh, also, oh, wait. Getting diamonds fills your health? All right, I didn't know that. I mean, that makes it more worth getting those diamonds. Or maybe if you if you get a whole row of them or something to fill it, well, that was actually really helpful. Learn something there. Get away. Just go, oh, dude, this area. Like, just get me out. Jesus. Ba 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 ba. Getting diamonds raises your total life. Oh, like it makes the bar longer? Does it? Dude, I didn't know that. I wish you could jump off of the... How do you get this one, then? Oh, it let me. Oh, but I... Oh, I must have ran out of... Uh... My slingshot. Hey, and there's another one now. All right, now I'm happy. Go, Sean Aston. It's our time down here, guys. Or time. Sean Aston with the with the speeches, you know, like Lord of the Rings and Goonies. Is that why they cast him as um Sam in Lord of the Rings? Because they're like, okay, this character has like a ton of speeches he has to give. Who do we give? That, who do we get that's like good at speeches? Oh, how about the kid from the Goonies? That's all he does in that movie, is give a bunch of speeches. Right? Uh, do I have to go, on, like, uh, I might have to go down and to the right. Crap. Okay, somebody just mentioned Encino Man. What's going on? <laughs> what about Sloth? Oh yeah, Sloth. Yeah, he, he should have given the speeches instead. I think he was he was a better public speaker, for sure. I agree with that. Rocky Road. Sloth was the hero, man. in there. See, this is where I start, start to forget where the hell I was. I don't know. I feel like I did this already. Now I'm not sure. Right? Like, to the right? Like, didn't I do this part? God. 
This is where this needs like a map. Imagine if this had a map like Metroid. Oh, it wasn't here. All right. Yo, you imagine like a Super Metroid style map. All right, help. That's what this needs. Oh, uh, excuse me, why isn't this like Super Metroid? Because it's like a fucking arcade game. Like 1985 is why. Oh, dude, it's just another one of those. This is just a big time waste. Mm. Get out of here, Chester. Chester. In my mind, that's who he is. I don't know. Could be anybody. All right, so let's see. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, there's a goonie. So let's, oh, oh, that was, oh man, that was the star. That was my Mario star. I like that it doesn't have fall damage. That part of it's nice. I could easily see them trying to include fall damage into this game. Yeah, back in this era, that would totally like ruin it. This game's a lot more playable than Goonies 2. A lot more playable. It doesn't have any of that map, like two sides of the map, and you're going in the doors, and it's like the crappy other perspective that's kind of like the interior areas of Fester's Quest. You know, when you go like, in the buildings and stuff, it's, it's, it's so bad. So it's definitely, uh, like this isn't like great or anything, but it's like, it's a lot better than that. So this could be a good game to do a hack of, you know? You could change the sprites to have them make look, to have them look more like Oh, right there. Bam. We got this. Um, they had the Goonies look more like the Goonies from the movie. I mean, that's one little thing you could do. Maybe make the game longer, add more levels or something, or just, you know, change it up from the beginning. Totally it would be a good game to do a hack of. I don't, I don't even know that anybody's ever bothered to try it. People are so busy making Mario and Mega Man hacks. Like, what about Goonies 1? Where the hell are they? They don't even care. Why don't they care? Do it! Do what I say. <laughs> I want my Goonies one axe. I'm never gonna get it. It's like me asking for my, I want my Thundercat hacks and I want my He-Man hacks. He-Man's the one that baffles my mind though. Cause He-Man's actually like popular and people don't do it. It's like, what? Like, aren't there, like, okay, there's, Masters of the Universe, like, Revelations or whatever, right? And then there's, uh, I don't know, there's a couple new shows. I don't know, like, the names of all of them. I just know that there's, like, new Masters of the Universe shows. And when you go to the store, they're still selling Masters of the Universe toys. So, like, the toy line is still, oh, I had to jump across that. It's still, like, totally viable. And they just don't do it. All right, so I gotta go down that and jump over that crap. Oh, dude, you suck. Okay, that was just help. Oh, this is like super aggravating, actually. I wish you, you can't fire on the vine. Why not? I better get that. Alright, so here's the deal. I gotta do this, and then I gotta jump over the thing. That, I know I'm gonna get hit. Is Chester Copperpot gonna hit me too? He didn't. Dude! Where are the keys? Is it beyond the door? No. Oh my god. I haven't found crap. All right, I have three minutes and 68 seconds to find all these. I don't even got 
got only got four slingshots left. Great. Oh my god, dude. I don't know. So we're going up, I guess. God damn it. Okay, there we go. This is the area I had to be in. Can you blow up him too? Oh, it did. All right, that's one. Three minutes. I could probably do it in three minutes. That should be fine. Then we gotta come back in that door. So we gotta go back to the right. Once I get all these keys. Ah! Be a key. Good. You jump over them. Dude, there's no, where's the other key? Get, dude, I bet I'll use I'll get this guy to get a bomb. In case I find this other bomb. Other door, I mean. Uh, 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 uh. What about more to the right? What about beyond this door? God damn you. What if I go up here? They put you back right where you left off, pretty much. For a retro game like this, that's like amazing. Most of these games, they don't do that kind of thing. Oh, you mother, it's not a, the key though. All right, at least I have time. Um, uh. Okay, so you can jump like down through it. Where's this key? I'm like so stressed with this. Come on. Dude, that's gotta be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Blow up. There. Got them all, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, I have four minutes to find this. Exit. Maybe. Let's go down here. Give me another bomb. Dude, this guy, this guy sucks. It's like over the right and down. Yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. I don't like that part. <laughs> or is it to the right right there? No, it's right below me. There it is. All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. All right. So now I made it further than last time, right? All right. Here, let me see what you're saying. Invincibility music starts off sounding like first stage Sonic music. Dodge the giant nut sacks. Mike's the world's best speedrunner. How do you think I'm doing right now? Do you feel like this is good? Mike needs a damn it doll. Should I even bother to ask what that is? Let me guess, it's something that you... <laughs> 
I know what kind of dolls you have. How tall are you, Mike? Six foot. Why? The hell? Why? For what reason do you need to know? That dog is now the best speedrunner. That what dog? The hell dog are you talking about? Marmaduke? <laughs> oh, because you want a Mike Matei plushie? Oh, you're trying to make a life size, I say. Uh, okay. Full body pillow. I see. You want it to be a body pillow, so you want it to be the same size as me. That's good. Have I played King of Demons for Super Famicom? Uh, does not ring a bell. Not yet. What do you think of Sloth's shit pipe? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I think about it often. Do you? Why isn't there Mike Matei's punch out? I don't know, make it. Somebody can make that. People make hacks and stuff, right? I love I love uh, Mike Tyson's punch out. It's a great game. What is that noise? Oh, that's just the background music. It sound it sounds like that's like a health meter depleting or something. But it's the music. Oh my god, look at this. I think Goonies too also has waterfalls. I don't know where I'm going. Get get out of here. I don't know what would happen if I walk in the waterfall, so I'll probably die. Dude, ooh, octopus? Okay. Oh. Can I find one of those health jars? That'd be great. What are the chances this is one? Key. I'll take that. I need I need another bomb. Okay. Dude, these guys stink. Ooh. No! Oh, no! I guess I should have went up and around. Oh, God. No, nah, it's my last life. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't know I needed to go, like, around there. Dude, get away. Alright, this is this. That was that whole area. Oh god. Here we go, good. That's gonna help. I guess let's just go to the right. I don't know. Oh my god. If we do like that, we'll blow up the door. Please blow it up. Hey, I'll take it. That's some help. Okay. Let's go all the way to the right. Uh, what if I go now? I want to like try to check this whole thing. This is a bad idea. Let's go down. Get out of here. That, having the slingshot's gonna help. Okay, there's a door below me, so if I go down this and drop. Nice, come on, be a key. And it is. Okay, uh, where is this other key gonna be? It's like water droplets stink. It reminds me of like the Mega Man Wily, like the blood dropping down. Okay, please. 
imagine this is the other one. Please, please just be the other key. Please. Yes. Dude. You, I can't just jump off that, by the way. So I have to, like, go around. It's stupid. That I don't like. If someone were to hack this game, that would be something to fix. Um, okay. Alright. Here we go. the beginning of the game? <laughs> what? Why? What happened? Wrong warp? Wait, there's warps? Wait, this game took you back to the beginning. Yeah. And now I have no lives. So what what was I supposed to do? Oh, I didn't cuz I didn't get them all. What I mi oh, I missed one of them, huh? So I have to reset. We got to do the whole thing over and I missed one somewhere. Game trolled you. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, so I missed some objects or something, some keys or the Goonies or something. You didn't find the Goonies. Apparently not. <sighs> All right, uh, I'm going to take a break, and then we'll try it again. How about that? I'll be back. Oh, demon. Kick him in the nards. Shit. They're fucking me up. Here, hold up. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Dude, eat shit, motherfucker. That's what I think of you. Bitch. Come here, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck with me. It's probably a really bad idea. Got the key card, got health. I am somehow still alive. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Oh, dude, there's the key card. Give it. Oh my god. 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 Dude, what? Oh my god. Is this the beginning of the level? Did I, did I never fucking save it? Dude, I had like all the key cards and shit. This is the number one song in hell. <laughs> Listen to, listen to this song. This is the song that they play in hell. You would have never thought. <laughs> A song from hell. All right. Well, I was an idiot and I never saved it. Oh, there's the exit. Ha! Where is this? In that area. All right, let's remember that. I won't remember. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I will forget that. Probably instantaneously. I've already forgotten where it is. <laughs> don't don't worry. I'll fail. Meatball. 
Eat your meatballs! <laughs> Got it. And now more guys are coming out. Okay. See, I. Wow. Wowzers. Let's try that again. It's just, that's gonna be really hard. Did I just say wowzers, by the way? Like, as in, like, I didn't wasn't in doing an uh, Inspector Gadget impression. I just, like, legitimately said wowzers. I, that might be the first time in my life I've ever actually said wowzers. I think I do that impression so often that now, saying wowzers is part of my fucking vo vocabulary, and now I say it like normally. That's a problem. <laughs> like, who, like, who do you know that is legitimately says wowzers? There's something very wrong. Very fucking wrong. Go oh my god, I was too close to the wall. Fucking shit. Or should I say wowzers? That's part of the problem. We got this fucking guy over here. Oh shit! Where did he come from? Damn it! Fuck me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Think I got it in over my head or what? Okay. The terms of the agreement are you get a rocket shot up your butthole. How do you like that agreement, motherfuckers? I killed all of them with that shot? Damn. Crap. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Thoughts on skeleton warriors? Uh, like, just like, like in general, skeleton warriors? What skeleton warrior? Are you talking about like Ray Harryhausen? Like if you're watching a Ray Harryhausen movie and like skeleton warriors come out and they have swords and shit? Yeah, those are awesome. They're great. <laughs> uh, if, if that was literally, I'm just gonna assume you were talking about a video game. Uh, it sounds like a Genesis game or something, but if in fact you were actually just talking asking me about skeleton warriors in general, that's my favorite question I've ever been asked on stream. Oh my god, he doesn't know the show. Oh, okay, well then now it's not my favorite question. Dude, fuck these mancubus. You can suck my cock. I swear to fucking god. Dude, by the way, imagine a mancubus sucking your dick. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> that would be quite the experience, wouldn't it? Or any of these things. The fucking imp. A revenant, a revenant sucking your dick with fucking rockets going off his back. Fuck. Dude! I keep forgetting the revenant fucking things curve. God damn it. Instant nut. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this 
just fucking mancubus sucking your dick. Alright guys, I am back and I'm playing Goonies for Famicom. This is, this is the original game that came out before Goonies 2. I just saw myself on break talking about Skeleton Warriors. And no, I did not know about Skeleton Warriors, uh, but let's learn about it now. Skeleton Warriors was a 13 episode cartoon series that aired in 1994 on CBS. Well, you know what? I don't know how I could have possibly believed possibly not seen such a long running series 13 whole episodes um so no i did not know about uh skeleton warriors but apparently they also made that uh failed cartoon series into a sega saturn game and then i looked that up and uh it looks like it might be fun to play so maybe i'll play the uh you know what i'll have to do i'll have to watch all 13 episodes of skeleton warriors hey at least that's not like a daunting task i could probably actually do that how about this? Why do I have to watch all 13? I'll watch one Skeleton Warriors episode. It's like Cowboys and Moo Mesa. I watched one, and that was enough for me. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I, I know what it is. <laughs> anyway, all right. So we are playing Goonies for the NES. And so I made it to the end of the game, I think. But I didn't get keys, or I didn't find all the Goonies or something. I don't know. We'll just do it again. I don't really know what I missed exactly. Might as well watch Mummies Alive as well. Oh, it's just it's exactly what I want to do. Was that a Mike Matei commercial? It was edited breaks. So what we do, I've been doing it for years, um, I do streams, and then there might be like one part of, I might stream for like five hours, right? or something, or I might do a stream for three hours, and out of that three hours, there'll be like 10 seconds that might have been good out of that three hours, and then they're like, okay, let's take that three seconds from the stream, that one good part that happened, and then we'll put that into into a edited thing. And then, so if I, so if I do like, if I stream like 10,000 hours worth of content, I'll at least get like five minutes out of that. That's about how it works. Let's try this again. Goonies for Famicom. Yeah, I, I at least get 20 good seconds out of like six hours. That's just how good I am at doing this. Ah! I found a bag that had earmuffs in it? Or is it headphones for like a Walkman because it's the 80s? Kids now don't even know what a Walkman is. They just listen to all their music, uh, what, on the internet, I guess? Is that how they do it now? Like, I don't even know. Or Spotify or some crap. Everything that I listen to is on a phonograph. Now, I do like vinyl, though. People, people like to ask me a lot of times, they're like, Mike, what do you, what do you like actually listen to? Because people know I like, like Elvis and stuff like that. But um, if you want to know for real what, what I actually do listen to, I, I can give you an example. Um, so like, this is the type of music I listen to in, in all like seriousness. So I've been listening to this lately. This is the Sugar Bears. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. And they have a lot of great songs, um, like Happiness Train, 
I like to be on the happiness train. And, well, I'm sure you guys have already listened to this, so I don't even need to give you the track listing. I like this logo a lot, by the way. <laughs> and also, I want that, I'm going to have this logo down below. It'll be a Mike Matei Live logo, I think. Now there was a reason for me showing this. All right. That's the kind of music that I listen to. I take my music very seriously. If it doesn't have to do with cereal, I don't want to hear about it. Was there ever a Cheerios album? <laughs> That's what I want to listen to. I want the Cheerios B album. The Chipmunks. Oh yeah, the Chipmunks? I have them too. <laughs> don't, don't make, maybe next, if I do another break later, I'll, I'll get it. I got all the Chipmunks music. Don't even get me started. I got that. I got that good shit. Oh, I'm out of it. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> this is the perfect game to use that for. All right, we got the Goonie or whatever. Uh, you gotta get the rest of the keys. Hate you. Give me that bomb. And old school game 79, thank you very much for the sub. You're watching my Diablo 2 on Switch. Just started playing Diablo. Oh, you just started playing Diablo 3. I probably will eventually do a Diablo 3 uh, stream. I like Diablo too. It was it was fun, um, but I'm uh, I'm good on it. I just like wanted to go through it at least like once, see what it is or whatever. Um, maybe like someday like I'd come back, play it again, use a different character or something like Diablo too. But uh, I, I do want to play Diablo three. I'm, I'm I am interested in it. So we'll see at some point. At some point, go down here. Ugh. So as long as you're like relatively close. Oh, you like how it doesn't even flash. I know that there's one here, so I'm gonna grab that. through these levels too much or I might miss something and then it's all done for. Like, there should be something here, don't you think? There's like nothing up here. That's the way they trick you. I want to know where all these hidden things are. I think that's what I did on that Castlevania stream. I had the chat help me. It was like if I passed an area where there was a power up, people would like help me out. What up here? I don't know, man. I end up using up all my slingshot I'm trying to do this. Okay, that's good. Ooh, let's go get that other one. Full health. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Did he have an album? He 
should have if he didn't. Be very upset if Kool Aid Man didn't have his own album. Talent like that deserves one. Alright, there we go. Heroes X81 sub, thank you for the sub. Alright, let me catch up with you guys. The chat is moving so fast, I can't even. Each level has a different way to reveal secrets. In the first level, it's kick. In the second, it's duck. In the third, it's press up. Oh, is it? Are those, like, actually right? So, like, kick... No, um... D didn't I get the headphones or whatever from, like, jumping or ducking or something? So, is that true, though? Okay, so one is kick, two is... duck... Three is press up. Is that true? You kicked in the air and the headphones revealed. Oh, did I? Oh, I, I, okay, so I thought I like jumped, but I did like a jump kick, I see. So I'm on the, I don't even know what I'm on now. Is it, what levels? Is this the second or the third? Like, I don't even know. They don't even tell you. that to me. Oh, oh, no. Alright, I mean, at least I got a bunch of diamonds. Get away. So this area is like super dangerous. I don't like that. They make it like that because there's a ton of uh, diamonds there. So they're like, you're gonna pay for it. God. Okay, now, so now I'm gonna get that because. On this one so this one is this one jump or what like I don't even know what level I'm on we never got this one right well I've already explained it a couple times but yeah this was in Japan um, we did get it though we didn't get it on a console we got it um, in the arcade so it was on play choice 10 or Nintendo versus cabinet if you were an arcade you would have gotten the Goonies game in the arcade if you got the chance to do that back then but when you're at home playing the NES, no, we had Goonies too, so that's why it was confusing. Okay, so this is the third. So they're saying, what, push up? Is it pushing up? Is that what it is? Press up on three. Somebody just told me this is the third level. Is this not the third level? So this is going to be duck then. Ooh, hey, oh, you can kill them if you do that. I just killed the Fratelli. Gift about add a bunch of subs to EA Triangle, Linard, Krillin64, Jess C, and Bite Binge. Thank you very much, games and movies. We are seeing wrestlers in music videos. You guess because Cindy Lauper was in WWF. Well, she was like friends with um, uh, Captain Lou Albano and PB Herman. Don't question Cindy Lauper's decisions. Here we are hanging on strings of whatever. Greens and blues or something. Come on. 
doing everything I can do. Searching for things. Ah! Shouldn't do that, I'll run out of time. Okay, so it was good for me to go up. This is about one eye Willy. Chat wants to talk about one eye Willy. Captain Lou was in an episode of 227. So is Phoebe Herman. Do you think Cindy Lauper knew the, some of the cast of 227? She was like hook, hooking up her friends. Is that what happened? Is that how Captain Lou got on 227? This is amazing. I'm learning all the things I ever wanted to know on the stream. Oh yeah, if I don't get him, that's a problem. Two seven video game. Come on. They made Shredder's Revenge. You're telling me they made Shredder's Revenge, but they didn't make a two two seven game. Give me a break. What is wrong? Stupid. They don't know what they're doing. This industry doesn't have any idea what they're doing. If I was in charge, day one. Two two seven for the Switch. The PS5. Two two seven for the PS5. That would be the first thing I would do. Voiced by the original cast. Or you can just pick sound clips. You, you totally, you can't kick them, huh? Alright. So I go down from there, right, to get out of here. I have a minute. Or was it this side? It was this side. Oh, there's that up there too, hold on. Let's go do that. And I already have the keys. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Taking the time. And we're gonna go. Alright. I think so far so good. So am I on the third now? Does it tell you in between it doesn't tell you even in between the screens. I wonder if the Famicom booklet had the treasure map that indicates where the secret items might be. I mean that's a thought for sure. Um the Castlevania booklet I don't think has any indication of where the treasures in Castlevania are, so I'm gonna guess no, because they're both Konami. I don't think they did that. That would be more like maybe Nintendo Power or something. It doesn't say what level, but the number of Goonies you saved is under your life. Oh yeah, so I saved three so far. So that means this is level four. There's one on each. How many levels are there? So you can't, like, leave until you found the Goonie. So I need to get that fourth Goonie before I get out of here. Okay. Oh, there's six levels? All right. So here we go. So I got to get six Goonies. 
So, let, so wait, so it would be, here, I'll write it down, let's see. Okay, uh, chunk data, uh, what, brand? Um, uh, mouth. Um, what is her name? Allie. And this is the other girl. Uh, Worf. <laughs> or Annie. Annie, I meant. And uh, what's the what's the other girl's name? Oh, and oh, and Chester Copperpot. Yeah, that was the other one. Is it Steph? Is that the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph. Okay. That's why there's six. All right. Not like you could tell in the game. Hey, you goody! Right. Oh, pfft. immediately goes away. I can do. No, and what about sloth? This is a bunch of bullshit. He becomes a goonie at the end, doesn't he? Don't they all say, like, oh, you're a goonie now. Now you're gonna live with me. You're gonna live with me now, Sloth. Sloth's like, ah. Yeah, you're gonna live with me and eat chocolate bars all day. What do you think? Yeah. What does his parents think of that? What does Chunk's parents think of that situation? I, I would like to know. What If they did make a sequel to Goonies, now I feel like maybe they actually should make it, because I, I was like, ah, they'll ruin it if they make a sequel. Honestly, maybe they should make a sequel to Goonies, because what the hell happened? I mean, you don't need to know, really, I guess. Maybe it's better that we don't know. Then again, though, I would like to know what happened with the situation with Sloth living with Chunk after the movie ends, okay? shit goes down. I bet this was the level where I didn't get him. Oh, where, get, where's the rat? Damn it! 
way. Yeah. No map. Great, great. Well, I found every... Oh, God. Dude, I don't know. This all looks so friggin' same to me. Look, I was here already, too. What? I, I don't know. I'm gonna run out of time. Well, I have four minutes. And I have to, I have to find the Goonie and one more kick. I have absolutely no idea. What about up there? Can I, like... Dude, what the hell? Is there a thing up here? Dude, I already got it. I don't know. What else is even left? Didn't I check above this before? Like, here, give me that. There. Faster. God damn it. Where? It's gotta be like over here. Dude, it's like gotta be in that skull. Cause there's like nothing left at this point. Oh, good thing that thing didn't teabag me. It's like somewhere here. God, the skeletons suck! Alright, there's my key. We got a goonie to get. Love God. All right, we, I can't leave this area. So this, this is where I had to go. Goonie, 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 Goonie. All right, four. All right, all right. So now I'm, that was. I'm, I'm still on the third level. So, but now. No, I'm on the. I must be on the fourth if I got the fourth. That was the fourth level. So we're going to the fifth. There's one on each level, right? And thank you very much, uh, Retro Junkie eighty three, for gifting our subs to Handyman sixty nine. I used to watch in Love and Color as well. Dad, do X three, Lockalicious, do do. Do Doody Juicy, that's a great name. And X Muffy, thank you very much for that. Yeah, so this is level four since I got four Goonies. All right. Go, 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 go. All right, we're gonna go back out of this thing. Damn you! I feel like it's safer to go like this. Good. Okay, there it is. Good lord. Have the goonie, have the keys. There, good. All right, now we're on level five. We gotta get the Goonie and three keys. Here we go. Probably a bunch of keys up there. 
Dude, if I go up there, I have 80. Wait, I have 80 seconds only? Oh, oh, now I have more. Wait, what is. Okay, I guess I could have taken that time. That, like, top part. Let's go in the skull first, I don't know. Damn it. What the hell did I just get? Oh god, get away from me. Alright, we got one key. That's good. Oh, uh, damn, because I'm out of, uh... Fuck! My slingshot, I'm out of. Well, if this is health, I won't complain. I remember this part. We're gonna go back around to the left on the top side because that screwed me before trying to jump over that on the bottom. Oh God, get away from me, Chester Copperpot. Now they're giving that to me. Well, I'm gonna, I don't wanna take that right now. Oh, Jesus. Be something good. Dude, suck my cock. You can't jump off the vines. Dude, that sucks so much. You should be able to. So if you go around. Ugh. This is my last life too, so like, oh my god. Here, so drop here, do this. Be like, be a key, or the goonie. So let's go in this area. I don't know. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make these jumps. Oh my god. It'd be like the end of the game. Is there a rat over here? Where's the rats? There's the rat. Come here. I can get another diamond. the goonie. Here, let me mark that off. Alright, so, got the goonie. I need one more key. Where's this other key? So the other area had the, uh, what's the exit? Dude. Oh 
This has got to be it. This has got to be the key. It is. All right, we're going to get out. All right, so I go back to the other area. Get out of my face! Oh, I thought that was going to explode. <laughs> I thought that was my bomb that I put down. Oh my god, that was going to be the end of the game. They need to give me an extra life is what they need to do. Oh, do I go in that to get the... I guess. Okay, we're back to here. Like, what do you want? I mean, do. This is it, isn't it? It's like right here. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, and there's health. How much time? Two minutes? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. There's the health. Go, 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 go. Mikey! Go, 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 go. Down. To the right. Make the jump. Hey, hey. I got a little diamond. All right. So that was it. That should be one, two, three, four, five. I got five. So I need to find the Goonie and get the three keys. Here we go. Last level. I think. Unless I am not understanding this right, but. This is where the game ended on me, right? So I guess let's say what happens. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yo, yo! They look like the heart from, that looks like Popeye, or the end of uh, Kung Fu. Hey! Is that brand, or is that sloth? The end, congratulation, point, point five thousand. Okay. And then, oh, and then, it's so, yeah, so it's like Kung Fu, and then you just keep playing it, like, over and over for points. I mean, I don't really care. I could play out my lives and see how far I can get. Maybe I'll do that, but, uh, I'll keep going. What the hell? Let's keep going. I'll see how far I can get. Anyway, though, I'm sa I'm satisfied though. That's that's Goonies. <laughs> well, I'll I'll see. Oh, they say now play a good game. You want me to turn this off? Variety stream. Play Super C. They want me to change it. All right. I mean, you, so let's talk about this. So you can keep going. It's a kind of game like like kung fu or something where it's like you just keep going and you try to get points the other thing is like i would need to know where all the secret items are so it's like pointless anyway because you have to go through the first quest and get all the secret items if you want to get like all the points or whatever so i don't know i don't think i care i'm good we we saw we we saw the ending i'm gonna be done let's play something else i'm satisfied with that that's good that's fine for me. I don't need any more than that. So it, it's like, this game is like, so Goonies 1, um, it's all right. It's okay. It's a hell of a lot better than Goonies 2. It's about all I can say for it. Um, I always like that cover, the art and stuff. I like the movie. I'd rather watch the movie, <laughs> honestly. What is the sticker? that they put on there. Is that like a scratch and sniff sticker? You scratch it and it smells like a dog's ass? That's what everybody wants, right? <laughs> All right, let's get this off the screen. Um, so I don't even know what do I have for you guys other than this. Um, <sighs> there's some new uh, hacks. Hey, it's 2024 now, right? Can you believe that? I started streaming in 2015. Now it's 2024. Holy crap. 
I've been streaming a long time. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my god, I've been streaming a long time. Okay, so these are some new hacks. Uh, all right, there's like a Mario three one Super Super Mario Brother sixty four for NES. Let's see this. Yeah, it, but is it like Mario sixty four? I, I don't know what this is. Is. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get yelled at because I don't change the stream description. So, uh, here, NES variety. That's what we're doing now for a little bit. Play Willow. Dude, I did Willow. Go watch my Willow stream. Who was that? Retro Gaming Gal? Um, go to my YouTube channel if you want at later and see. I already did Willow, I beat Willow. Well, that was all right. I think it was. Um, you're gonna not like me for this, but I don't. I didn't. I don't really like Crystalis. If they fixed it, it, I have a bunch of problems with Crystalis. But if they fixed it, I think I'd like it. But like the regular version of it, and like another. You know what's another one? It's like Blaster Master. Blaster Master is a game like I want to like, but that also has like a lot of problems. I'm like, ugh, I don't really like it that much. Um, but like I want to. I wonder if anybody has done a fixed version of like NES Blaster Master. Anyway, let's see what this is. So this is supposed to be like the Nintendo 64 game. Thanks. Uh, doesn't it seem like I'm doing great? Daddy O forty subbed. Daddy O, hey Daddy O. <laughs> Let's bring that back. Daddy O. <laughs> um, this is like I thought somebody was gonna like try to remake Mario sixty four on the NES. I guess that's not what this. Is. Didn't I see this part already? It's going to be to um, to play more Mario games. Mario 3 hacks. I'm thinking to do more, more Mario 3 hacks. Haven't done much of that. Probably some Zelda 2 streams. Um, who knows, maybe even Super Mario Brothers 2. Might, might do a Mario 2 hack. Something you know you haven't seen me do before. Probably some Castlevania hacks. Do some Mr. Do. So, um, you see this finger? You know what I'm gonna do with this finger? You think that I'm gonna use this finger to turn the console off, don't you? But that's not what I'm gonna do with this finger. Actually, it is. Okay. Turn it. Will, oh, oh, wow! I used the other finger. The other finger got to go off. It wasn't, I hit reset like three times and the game wouldn't turn off. That's something new. I hit reset and the game wouldn't go off. Now there's something I've never seen happen before. Okay, there we got a new one for you. What the fuck? All right, well, 
super retro. Okay. That's the moon from, um, Mar- is that Mar- like Mario 3? You get like a 3 up in Mario- no, it's Super Mario World. Dude, is this just the same level from- this is the same level from Mario 1. This is- this is the same level as Mario 1. Get out of my face. Can't you do something like interesting? NES hack. Can't, wait, is this? Oh, uh, and that's the whole like thing. Uh, Mario Disco. Let's see what this is. Oh my God! Panic! Panic at. Can you even read that font? Oh, he's got a disco ball up top. Panic. Mario at the disco. Whoa, you can, you're both of them? Bat, bat, bat. Oh, bar, bar, bar. This is a bat, bat, bat. Well, this is interesting. She's like following you. Like Saturday Night Fever. Oh, dude. What if she fell in? Is it over if she dies? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we're at a club. And I've definitely never seen this before. Right, let's go up here. Up. Or not. Can I get up? Go up there. Nope. There's probably a pipe to go down there. At least they redesigned the damn stage. Like the other one, they didn't even bother to redesign anything. It's just the same. I hate that one. Cool. They make these hacks and it's just the same level, like, you know. Same thing with like Zelda hacks on any of these. Like, make the level different. It's like the, I'm so tired of these hacks, they don't even change the level. Tashi, thank you very much for the sub. Out of sight. Whoa, what game is this? This is, the, were they moonwalking? Uh, this is Mario Panic at the Disco or something. It's crap, I don't know. Some crap. Another, another some bull crap thing I found. I mean, it's pretty interesting that the princess follows you. I haven't seen, I haven't seen somebody try something like that. I am really curious to see, like, if she were to die, like, what would happen, or if she, or if she can even die separately from Mario. Disco Mario, I mean to say. Whoa. Oh, no, oh, wait, he died and now I'm her. Also, that sprite is interesting. Is her is that her like nose in the air? I'm trying to like even understand. She looks like when she's jumping. Wait a second. When she's jumping, she looks more normal. But when she's standing like that, it looks weird. Okay. Looks like she's pumping that pole. My chat is saying, nice booba, boobies, big rack, boobas, busty breasts. She's got some huge tits. Thanks. Oh, Mario's back.
Well, I wouldn't have thought of like a disco Mario. So that's like, oh shoot. Oh man. What would, oh, I had to break it. All right. Starting in the second level, right? Oh, come on. So I gotta go like this. Oh, no! Oh, God! But I didn't. It, uh, it has to be like. Alright, I gotta like raise it up more than that. What is. What is oh, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, that's what they're doing for items. That's why. They, that's why they're like that. They're all like messed up. All right. So here. What was uh? Like dropping shit. There you go. Oh, pff, dude! I didn't even know that that was the. All right. Even know what's the floor and what's not the floor. What? What? Oh, the coins are music. I'm floating in the sky. I'm flying. <laughs> this is fantastic. A plus 10 out of 10 hack. This isn't terrible. I like it. It's fun. They did something different with it. They changed the levels. They made it so, like, your two characters. They got, you know, crazy items going on. It's funny. I think it's great. Oh, you... Oh, you! The P-Wing is drugs. No, it's not drugs. I don't think this has anything to do with drugs. Why do you have to say something like that? Miyamoto worked on this game, by the way. What? I wonder what that item was. What? 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 So what is this stream even? The stream is Goonies and Disco Mario. How am I gonna make that thumbnail for YouTube later? I have like sloth. I have like sloth with his finger in the air with like a tuxedo, like a white tuxedo. Let's. Oh, what else is on here? Contra Spirits. Let's see what this is. Looks nice. Ooh, this is NES. That looks like Super Nintendo. Whoa. This is trying to be Alien Wars on Super Nintendo. Those were fun streams. If you, if you never saw my Contra Alien War streams, that's one to go back and check out. It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, can I kill this guy? There we go. Music in eight bit, like like the what, like the NES like sound chip compared to the Super Nintendo one. Oh, ooh. Oh, 
yeah, I feel so good. Oh, yeah, you like that? Dude, you, like, I'm tapping. You, like, run out of bullets, I swear. Something's wrong. I, you, seriously, you stop firing. Like, if you're like tapping, it, it's like broken, but if you hold it, it's fine. If you have this weapon, I guess. So you know how kids today, they probably play like Fortnite or Minecraft or whatever they play now? You'd be like, alright, I'm gonna introduce you to some retro video games. I'm gonna introduce you to Contra. Be like, oh, okay. Is there only one Contra game? Oh no, there was a bunch. I'm gonna intro I'm gonna show you super I'm gonna show you uh, Alien Wars. But then you put on this instead. Instead of the real like Super Nintendo game. Probably not a good idea. Unless you wanna be a complete asshole. Unless you want video games to only be for you and not for them. Who knows though? Maybe maybe this would be the game. You'd get obsessed with video games. And to be honest with you, like I'm pretty impressed with this is like mostly like working now, now that I'm like holding the button down instead of like trying to tap which is definitely what they want you to do oh this is if you, on Super Nintendo if you hit L and R and you get the you get the uh, both guns in the air Can you, what if I yeah you can't do that but I mean uh, oh crap I fucking I screwed that up honestly like it's pretty impressive Think about how hard that would be to do. Oh, look at this, look at this. He had to do this. Like animate that, that's cool. Cause like, you, you, the first time you see this, I'm just kinda like, I'm kinda making fun of it. Cause obviously it's like not gonna be as good as it is on like Super Nintendo, but like, this would be a hard thing to do, to put friggin' Alien Wars on NES, damn it. It's like it's working for, like pretty well. It's interesting to see it like this. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. To, to be honest with you. At first, I was like, I don't know. Oh, dude, and he climbs the walls. And he climbs. Hey, dude, he climbs and he climbs the walls. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. Like the the tortoise, yeah. Oh my god! And then he had to make this. Oh my god! He like designed that. I mean, it works totally differently than the Super Nintendo game. I'm like. I can't believe this. This is crazy. And somebody's gonna be talking about how that's like a ball sack, for sure. It wouldn't be a ball sack like under his neck. Let's see if somebody was. Oh, I don't know. I don't see one. Nobody said that. You guys are slipping. You're slipping. Nobody said it. Turtle, oh, it was Turtle Rock, that's right. I'm linked to the past. <laughs> Turtle Rock came to life. Oh! And you got Silver Surfer music. I forgot about the top down like, levels. Oh, but I'm not gonna be able to like strafe though. Uh, excuse me, guy who made this, I can't strafe. This is insane actually. Imagine 
imagine if they would have released this, like on the NES, like you could, like this would have been probably passable. I mean, compared to some of the games we got on NES, it was definitely passable. X Men, they released that. Oh crap! I am I'm impressed. I mean, if you're gonna choose music for, you know, from a, a game for, you know, Silver Surfer is a good one to choose. It's got good music. I don't dislike Silver Surfer, to be honest with you. Like, I, I, I streamed it a long, long time ago, beat it. It's like, it's like an okay shmup, like, with great music. <laughs> I don't know. The bad part is that it, you have to tap so much. I mean, that part is annoying. But if you if you can put up with like a lot of tapping, it's not. It's really. I don't think it's that bad of a game. The only real problem it has is that like some of the levels get a little finicky with like when you're touching if you touch the walls and stuff. That is true. But it's really. I don't know. I don't think it's a bad game personally. If nothing else, it's got a great soundtrack. I wonder if they ever did a final of that. There should be if they haven't. Now that they're doing video game vinyls. Isn't that weird? We live in a world where there's like vinyls for NES games. It's just a weird thought. I mean, you know, a lot of these games have great music, and I can understand why they'd be on vinyl. But it's just a, like we didn't, you know, we didn't have that growing up. You couldn't listen to like Super Pitfall, the vinyl, you know, just the idea of it's weird. But you know, I'm I'm more used to having like quality kind of music, you know, like the Sugar Bear album. Like this is something that deserves to be on vinyl, in my opinion. Like that's the kind of music I listen to. So I don't know. I don't know why you would ever have video game soundtracks on vinyl, but now we do, and I'm very thankful for it. I have Snake Rattle and Roll on vinyl. It's just the soundtrack from the NES game. It's like, what is the point even? Oh, I'm, de I'm done? Okay. Well, that works completely differently than, you just have to make it to the end. Oh my god, oh god. Oh, dude, that's... Mm. Ah, you gotta, like, shoot him first. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Getting hard now. Well, I, I like this. How's this gonna work on NES? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, also, by the way, it always says P2, so I'm like not running out of lives. Where's the lives? Is oh, is it like infinite? Oh, look at the look at the bugs in this. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's so funny. Spread is awesome. The lives are all in my heart. What heart? Am I even damaging this guy? So I have to like get on it to. Oh whoa! You can climb up there too. Okay, there it goes. 
now is our items gonna float up from the bottom, just like in the Super Nintendo game, let's say. I think in the Super Nintendo game, items float up from the bottom there. I forget what items I use. I, it's been a while since I like played the Super Nintendo one. Like Crush, or you? Oh, I do like the Double Crush. I got into that. You know what you do? You get the two Double Crushes, and then you you like roll your finger back. You do like that. I forget how I would do it actually now. But I did something with my fingers to where you can like go. You can go back and forth between them or something. And you do it like really fast, and then you can just like destroy everything in that game. Oh god, how this like works differently. How am I gonna drop? Works a lot differently than the Super Nintendo one. What if I? All right. Kind of hit that red, like that red thing that's coming out of him, I guess. Hmm. This might take forever to kill this thing. So this is a, this is a, they call these like a demake, right? So it's like not really, it's like kind of a hack because they're taking stuff from what Super C, but but so much was done to this where I don't even know if you can call it a hack at that point. It's almost just like a full new game practically because this is they they had to do so much to make this like the Super Nintendo game. I don't I don't even know if I can necessarily even call this a hack. Maybe like, kind of, but or I guess it is. It's just like a really fucking well done one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a hack brew D make drawn unicycle. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Hey Mike, almost a year. Did you see somebody's putting NES Metroid on Super Nintendo? NES Metroid on Super Nintendo. Um, well, you we already had um, like Metroid Zero Mission, which is basic, which is well, that's Game Boy Advance. So I mean, I we had that. So, but now somebody's gonna take that and put. They're gonna put the NES game. So, like, wouldn't they take? Wouldn't you take Zero Mission and put that on Super Nintendo or something? Hmm. No, I didn't know about that. This was a bootleg made in 1995. The I was gonna say I thought I played something like this before. The ROM hacker fixed the bugs and made it more playable. Oh. So th somebody did like a crappy job in the 90s. So this is an old hack that sucked. Like a, boot a crappy bootleg. And then somebody was like, I'm going to take it and make it good. That's interesting. So this is a... 
a mash of. Do we still give the credit to the, the guy who did the bootleg? Who's the who's the guy? I guess you wouldn't know back then, right? Who was the guy who did the original bootleg? You gotta give him credit too. <laughs> yeah, ROM hackers like to take these old bootlegs and improve them. It's great. I don't know if I've seen. Have I done other ones that were like old bootlegs that got redone? I don't know if I've done any others like that. What other ones are there? This is gonna be the skull guy coming up. It was you? Yeah, I bet. I guess it, I guess if we don't know who it is, it was me. I did it. I actually I made the original. I made the crappy original bootleg version of this. It was me. Oh. like crush and some of the damn I don't know what to do about that like we saw you get spread is the guy gonna like come out of the wall Cause that's what you have to do you gotta drop down there Stronger than God. The hell. Oh, if you're on the back side, I see how that works. Jeez. Oh, it is gonna happen. Wow. It's me. Oh my god, it's like so hard to do. Dude, there's like no way. It's like... You moved like too slow to be able to do like what you do in Super Sick. Let me try it again. Look, I'm like so far ahead. You can't do it. And it goes around again. So, okay, so you gotta be here. You do this. clunkier, but Alright, will any items pop out? Let's say, come on. Oh yeah, by the way, there's homing too. 
Yo, this guy should keep working on this. Add in, like, crush and homing and shit. I mean, maybe it's already in here, but... Probably can't even... It probably couldn't handle doing homing. God damn it. Like trying to grab onto this thing. I'm just like more curious to see like what you can do. Like grab onto that? No. Doesn't matter anyway. It's like there's no. It's like infinite lives, I guess. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if there's like a way to make it so that it's not infinite lives. Like maybe there's some way to do that. I don't know. You can just reset the game, I guess. I'm not really blowing anything up here. So you don't blow anything up on the top of the ship this time. There was like that laser that comes down on the other one. Oh, this is gonna be the big dude with the legs or whatever, right? ship is like so small. Is a guy gonna come up from the bottom and attack me? There's like always like a guy. There's, there's a lot of things in Alien Wars that aren't present here. I think, I feel like this is worth like keep working on and like add in the little things that are missing. Cause this is pretty awesome. I mean, how much can I ask for? There, there's probably only so much you could do. Like, look at this. This is impressive. I wish um, weapons came up a little bit more often. Oh, I gotta get this stuff up top first, huh? Yeah. at a certain point if I want everything that's in the oh pfft. if I want everything that's in the Super Nintendo game then you just play the Super Nintendo game yeah I'm not asking for too much man try to get that top one down I got it. Then we can start going like this. It's so much faster on the other. I guess I could, I could use the bomb here. Jeez, I didn't even do anything. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Is, that, is this even doing anything? It was so far from the other one. Oh, it's blown up. 
Maybe you just have to wait. It takes forever to blow up. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> Those missiles move really slow. I think you let the missiles hit it. Oh, maybe it was about letting those missiles hit it, I guess. Uh, yo, yo, Dave. Thank you very much for the sub. Now you've beaten Goonies and Goonies 2, and you beat Back to the Future. You see where I'm going with this? No, I have no idea where you're going with this. I haven't the foggiest. Why whatever do you mean? You know what's funny is I just found the map that I drew for when I streamed that. Like, absolutely like, mess of a map. I hate that so much, that game. I thought you could stand on top of that and maybe not in this version, I guess. But I don't even know where you're supposed to go. Can I go under him or some crap? Like, what the hell? How about like this? I guess you can jump totally over it. That's what you do. It's like a damn chicken. Ah, oh, I was trying to jump over it. Okay, is it gonna be the heart next? Oh, not even? Did they take the heart out? All right, the heart isn't in that. What about the guy? The, the guy going up the side of the wall has to be there. Come on. Yeah, this dude. And in the Super Nintendo game, he like he like disappears. This guy's tough, and, and he's got that tail. weapons in because it's like I feel like I'm going through the whole game and I barely have seen weapons you know that looks cool great let's see and then dead already I 
like two blue balls. Is it? Oh my god. Spider after actually. Damn it! Dude, like it didn't even do anything. It's ridiculous. The spider thing doesn't happen. Oh, the spider thing should be in there. Yeah, there's definitely things that they could add. I, th I think it needs to have more weapons throughout. It'd be nice if they got, like, Crush in there. But, um, I mean, I'm, like, thoroughly impressed with it for, like, a... What are we calling this? A... A, D a D make oh, Homebrew hack? Bootleg? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, that's it. That's uh, super Contra Alien Wars on NES. It's great. They did a great job. We got we got a Super Mario Brothers three game. Super Mario Brothers three: The Lost World. Okay, is this new? Super Mario Brothers: The Toro. Let's say up. Oh. Totoro. Based on the anime. Well, it's very different. No, 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 no. What am I shooting? Those acorns or something? Can I go in the house? Probably not. Let's see. Maybe though. Nah. Oh, so this is like Hammer Bros. Well, it's certainly different. Oh crap! Come on. It's very, it's very floaty. He needs his umbrella. Maybe you get it. Maybe instead of frog suit, it's umbrella. Maybe, maybe it is umbrella instead of frog suit. What is it? Oh. Oh, oh it's like piercing. Oh my god. I mean, if you're a fan of the anime, and you're a fan of Super Mario, and you're a fan of the NES, then I, I guess this is, this is maybe, maybe this is for you? 
find the sound effects in this to be very piercing, ear piercing, and it's bothering me quite a bit. So that's that. Uh, Anna's Fantasy. That's, is that Anna? Okay. Who the fuck is Anna? Aunt, like Anna who? Is, is it one of these where it, that, like, that is the game designer? They put themselves into it or something? Or it's a character that they created? Their, their, their character, Anna. Anna, oh, her name, oh, it's a character from something. Okay, hang on a second. They, they actually know what it is. It's Anna Banana. We got our answer. <laughs> Mega Star, thanks for the sub. And JT Yankees, also sub tier two. Thank you guys. That's quite the body. Sub to sub ledger verse stant. He's they're gifted out subs here because they just feel bad for me. They're like, oh man, this guy's been doing this for like nine years, and look at this. He's playing what is this Anna's fantasy? And there's like a vagina plant. It's like, God help me. Frog TV, college preview, Zoop Forever, Busto Jones, Grummies. Darth Randall, Butterman, and 8-Bit X-Kid. You got all guys, you all got gift subs from Dan Basque. Thank you, Dan. And uh, Games and Movies gifted us subs to Wang, Ace of Swords, Breakpoint, Esp, 4P3, and Oculus. Thank you very much, Games and Movies, for gifting those out. And uh, Wang, you got a, uh, you got a, you got a sub. And JSB fan also sub. Thank you. You were missing Man Baby. Well, now we're playing it. But what I would like is to you for to tell me what the fuck this is that I'm playing. What is this? <laughs> Bowser's on the flag, okay. Such... <laughs> hey, Super Jeff. How are we not having a hype train yet? I don't know. Oh, it says hype train is close. You would think, though. There was a lot of subs. I don't understand how any of this crap, this hype train or any of this crap works. It, some days, it's like, I swear to God, people give, like, two or three subs, and then it's like, hype train. And like now, I just got what was that? Like twenty subs or more? And it, there's no and there's no hype train. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Don't don't worry about it. Just if you sub, thank you. You won't have to look at ads, which is that's the great part of it. You know. And also, you gifting subs to other people, and then they don't have to watch ads either. It's all just making it so everybody can just watch. Everybody just turn the goddamn thing on and watch it, and not have fucking ads go all going all over the place, you know? You hate that. You're really trying to watch a TV show, and the fucking ad comes on, and you're just like, come on. You know?
we're all gonna die, subbed or not. Yeah. And what's your point? What is this like a fucking revelation? Yeah, that's right. The, the people die. Pretty sure we're all aware. You won't die until you meet Mike. Okay, let's say that you met me. That what would what would happen? What do you want to happen? Let's say that we meet. Right? What would happen? What do you what do you want to do that you can't do here? BJ. Today I'm playing Super Anna or something. Annie, Anna. What is this? I don't even. Anna's fantasy? This could just be any Mario hack. Like, there's more Mario 1 hacks than anything else. I mean, listen, there's a lot of Zelda hacks, there's a lot of Castlevania, there's a lot of Mega Man, there's a lot of Mega Man. But Mario 1 is like the king of hacks. You can't even compete. So it's like, this, this is what you did, this? There's not, nothing has happened that's special here. It's just some character, it's like a nothing character with a green shirt. There's a nothing green shirt. And then just some girl, and then you just go, and then the levels are just kind of like whatever. There's some, there's some trees in the background. It's 2024, and this is what we got for Mario One X. What's gonna happen 2025? Super, super Joe. Bros, and then you're just like a dude, and then you just walk, and there's some coins, and it's just like nothing, <laughs> like nothing. Dude, get off of my screen forever. Let's go back to 2023. What was going on then? Got anything in here? Anything good here? Probably played all this crap already. Oh, yeah, remember this one, Contra, and you can't crouch or you're always crouching or something that was the whole thing legend of super mario oh i just did this united mario wario's adventure let's try this wario sure I played this before. I don't know, there's so pff. I don't like how he just goes down the pipe so quick like quick like that. Let's get the can I get the lowest part? Can I get the absolute lowest? Oh there you go. If you're standing on it you can Remember, wait a second. Remember that one I played earlier? What the hell? Wait a second. 
What was that one? This one. What is, what is up with this? I want to see this again. Remember this? Maybe something was wrong. First of all, it just says, okay, one player, two player. It doesn't say Mario or Luigi. Just one player, two player. All right, so this is, it says Mario, wait a second, wait, wait. Super Mario Brothers 64, so, right? Shouldn't this have something to do with Mario 64? I don't understand that. Like, this one really blows my mind. I want to see this. I just got I want to see this again, because... I just feel like I'm missing something. Like, I, is this my fault? Okay, kill him. Okay, we got the star. And then... Then... So it transports you. I guess that's supposed to happen. What's in here? Oh. So the star doesn't function like a normal Mario star anymore. Now the star functions as a warp? What if I get this? Okay, that's fine. That's just the normal item. So the star is like a warp pipe now? I guess. I went like a little further it like sent me to a different wait what Somebody explain this to me. 24 hour live stream of Kaboom, you coward. I would, I, I'd love to. I don't know about 24 hours, but like, I love Kaboom. stars question mark really is that what this is supposed to be so if I get this 120 if I get 120 stars then that's how it's supposed to be Mario 64 the description online says hi this is the new sys data soft hack what is the make of Mario 64 NES? All levels is highly inspired by Mario 64 with an exclamation point. All levels is highly inspired by Mario 64. It says hi. Hi. Hi hack. What is the make of Mario? Oh boy. Wait, this is different. I mean, as long as I'm seeing different things. Wait, is this different? This is blue now, though. Before, this was, like, brown. What if I, like, grab this over here? Here. Oh, now it's the beginning of the game, and I came out from behind that hill. I've never come out from behind that 
first hill in Mario before, so that was the first. T. Is he gonna spell something out? H? The? Is it gonna spell out the? The? E? N? D? The end! Exclamation point. Hey! Hey! The end! But there's- you do but put a flagpole! Maybe if I keep running, they wouldn't have. Or. Um. I mean, it said the end. Did I beat it? Hurry, time's running out. What if there is a star? An invisible block further back to the left. I don't know what it. What if? What if? I, what would happen if I died? Would I start right here and then it would be the it would be the the end again? This is not good. Mario is really as fast as Sonic if you give him enough room to get him to full speed. Oh, like right here. Wow, that basically was Mario 64. Yeah, I thought so too. It's pretty much the same thing. Oops. Wasn't this a phone game? Oh yeah, Mario Run. What happens when the time runs out. It said the end, so I'm gonna say that I beat this. Finally, sweet death. <laughs> the end, oh, yeah, did, that, did you like that D that they wrote? The end, oh. Mario disappeared. <laughs> uh, well, um, that's all I can do. It's broken. I can't do anything else. Uh, guys, I'm going to go watch. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go listen to um, my album now. I'm going to go listen to the Sugar Bear album. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Goonies and whatever the hell else we played. See you next time. Bye.